How's it going? So, I bought this uh, this old amplifier at like a Goodwill, Savers type place. Um, the outside was all beat up. It was nasty. This uh, this was tweed, and it was gross tweed. It looked like a, you know people had blown their cigarette smoke directly at it for the last thirty years. So, um, and it also had some issues where it was getting louder and quieter. And, you know, I mean, that's not what you want an amp to do, right? So, I took it apart. I replaced just about everything on the board, which wasn't that complicated. I mean, there was probably only 30 to 50 components, tops. Uh, so, I replaced probably half of that. I, uh, the main output transistors, the filter capacitors, and any, any kind of capacitor, any liquid capacitor in there got replaced. Um, but so I thought I'd uh, show it off a little bit. I got uh, I made a little reverb foot switch um, I, I, I'll show you that Get here. I just bought a case that I thought was big and heavy enough to be able to set on the ground and step on um, I've only got this is the only one that works and that's for the reverb uh, These are just for show now, but I might add some gain stages and stuff in inside the amp because it was an acoustic amp So it does have a really clean sound i mean it's really pretty guitar sound so i mean let's hear some guitar sound um so i've got the guitar is going to be turned all the way up i got my switch all the way down uh on my strat style primer here um let me find a plectrum and we'll get this show on the road so it's a uh, it's pretty loud little guy if i turn it up just this little bit until it's on it's already good practice volume. So I'm going to talk at a normal volume, and uh, as I talk at this Uh, and then back to my normal volume. So pretty loud just turning the thing on. Uh, I, I guess we'll make it a little louder. Um, get some reverb in there. actually doing its job and turning on and off the reverb um, but so for the measly $25 I paid for it and the six dollars worth of components I put in it um, you know a little paint little felt I had laying around uh, I got to make myself this uh, this thing you know I, I had a lot of fun uh, it was nice cleaning it up and adding adding this EQ. Um, really got to test my Dremel skills. I'll show you the back side. And, uh, you know, the Inshreddable Hunk is uh, kind of the play on the green and, and purple here. Um, but, you know, I had, like I said, I had the pool table felt left over. Uh, I have a lot of that stuff, if you haven't noticed. Um... And, uh, all in all, uh, you know, it was it was fun, and uh, these two little eights are fairly loud. I can hook up an external cabinet to it, and it'll it'll push uh, it'll push this uh, pair of Celestron Vintage 30s, uh, 12 inch speakers. Um, so I really can't complain. Um, I highly recommend uh, if you get a good deal on something old, 
uh, to do something like this. Make it yours, uh, you know, go through and replace anything that uh, age can damage, like old capacitors and transistors, you know, and really, uh, you know, spruce up an old, an old thing instead of buying one of those brand new combo got the effects built in i mean they're nice toys and all but when you need a real good tool only only the good old stuff you know that's uh that's that's where i go and that's how i do it